Christian Hackenberg today. And he'll take off and run to start the game. And pick up five yards out to the 40-yard line. And that's a must. Well, here they are, out of the shotgun, four wide, now an empty backfield. Exactly what James Franklin told us yesterday they wouldn't do. And it's successful to Chris Godwin. Down the sideline. He's got a first down for Penn State. All the way. Hackenberg. He's going to take a shot to the end zone. It looks like it's intercepted. And it is. Arjun Colhoun. To take our shots. It's what Nebraska did in this matchup when they put 39 on the board. But watch the corner. Watch Calhoun. You cannot make this throw when he's got eight yards of cushion. You do not gain on it. And he does nothing but look back at you. Now, if you're going to throw that pass, it has to be to the back pylon where Geno gets it or nobody gets it. You have to read. You cannot. Scooping it up is Godwin. Well, that was a tight window for Hack target this year for Hackenberg. And they'll throw it out to him on the edge. He's got a step across the 35. Let's see where they mark him out. Close to the foot. Step back on third down and a foot. Why not quarterback sneak it? with your six foot four, 228 pound quarterback. And that is enough for a Penn State first down as we check in with Shannon. Well, all the players and even some of the coaches, including D'Antonio, do. Well, they bring a blitz here after Hackenberg, long throw to the sideline and mistimed for Deshaun Hamilton, Riley Bulla. Deshaun Hamilton, one-on-one, -on -one, makes a move, spins to midfield, and he's about three yards shy. When he started. Third down, Hackenberg has time, extends the play, throws a bomb, underthrown for Hamilton, who can't fight his way back to the ball. Chance, and Polk's got the speed to do so. Middle street, Saquon Barkley is met by Riley Bullock. No gain on first down. Hackenberg, pocket starts to collapse, spins and keeps the play alive, dives inside the 35 and picks up six and a half. Eventually brought down by his legs. Might be four down territory. Third and three. Hackenberg outside, incomplete. Now what do you do? Hackenberg getting set. Akeel Lynch to his left. Bullet pass is caught. Chris Godwin. Offense in this offensive line is feeling it. Play action again. Wide open Deshaun Hamilton. Picks up five as we check in with Shannon. Play action. Hackenberg rolling into the end zone. Incomplete through the hands of Adam Brenneman. A silly down near the goal line. It'll be third and goal. You can see that inside pressure. Michigan State loves to do that. That time rescue. Man coverage out on the edge. Where does Hackenberg go? Slants one in the end zone. Way too hot to handle. For Some confidence we've not seen against good competition. And it's helping neutralize those pass rushers. A rollout here. He gets a block. Has some time to extend the play and throws it away. Smart play by Christian Hacken. Play clock at three. It is a blitz. Hackenberg under pressure, and he goes down at the five-yard line. Malik McDowell got there. D look. Hackenberg to Godwin. Close to six. Hackenberg backpedaling. He's in trouble. That's a huge loss and a mistake by the Penn. Bob at the technique of these defensive linemen. It really doesn't matter who it is. Every one of them does such a phenomenal job with their hands. They win. They, they win right off the jump, not just with their quickness. And Ron Burton, defensive line coach, Air Force Academy for over a decade. He's Deshaun Hamilton wide open. He's got a first down and more. Down to the 32-yard line. Now they line up at a tighter look, and it's play action. Hackenberg under pressure. Throws one up the seam. Incomplete. He threw that one up. He sure did, and this ball has got to just go underneath. I mean, that, that, that's the decision that you've got to make, and, and you have seen Christian do it, and you can see right underneath there in, the, in your frame is Adam Brenneman. He's wide open. There's nobody within eight yards of him. Blitz coming. Hackenberg beats it. Losing the football, though. 
Demetrius Cox picks it up. He's down the sideline. Cox might go. Touchdown. Port. Christian Hackenberg was driving the Nittany Lions before they turned it over. And they start this drive again. Positive yards. Chris Godwin for about five. Here's our Aflub Trophy. It was named after John Heisman in 1936. Flag down. And going down again is Christian Hackenberg. That's why it's a trick question, and that's why people don't like our producer. He can do. Yeah, he's a difference maker. Simple slant to Geno Lewis to the 30. This is a big play here. The wide receiver hitch caught by Godwin. And it looks like he is going to muscle his way for the first down. So now the timeout that was called by Chris Cox, much like his buddy Barkley did on the previous third and long on the former series. The blitz comes, and Brent Wilkerson reaches because that means they're settling. They have to have seven before halftime. Deshaun Hamilton inside the 15. The call. Deshaun Hamilton makes a move inside the five, down to about the three yard line. But getting that. Here comes the blitz. Slant dropped. Godwin had inside leverage on Cole. Now it's a fade to the pylon that has no chance to find Geno Lewis. Play clock down to six. Hackenberg, he's going to look end zone, floats it in the end zone, and getting separation is Godwin for the touchdown. Exactly what Penn State had to have. Give you guys an opportunity. Expecting pressure, they get six man, he got guy free, but it's still a one on one, and you see the stumbling and bumbling in the back there by Nicholson, as well schemed, well executed. Hackenberg, he is already number one in Penn State history in attempts completions, yards, now he is by himself number one in touchdown passes as he moves past Matt McGloin with his 47th. I saw him put up some bigger numbers earlier this season against much lesser competition. Staring down a team with everything on the line in a group that dominated all execution. Hackenberg looking for a deep ball down the sideline, but Hamilton Never turned back to look for the ball, and it sailed over his head. Darian Hicks was there in coverage. Well, you add that one to the right-hand column now. 0 for 6 on anything beyond the sticks. And underneath, lots of success. And many of those have been the shotgun, some of the spread variety, and getting the ball out of Christian's hands, which I think was a vital element, and they executed pretty well. A fumble, a pick, the difference of why they've got 10 instead of the 17 or 20 that they could easily have with their productivity in the first half. Screen out to Hamilton. To the 30-yard line. On the slant through the hands of Hamilton. He had him. Hackenberg looking for the home run to Hamilton. And it's incomplete. Not here. No, you're going to grow up. You're going to cut entitlement off when you walk in the door. You're going to work hard. Screen to Barkley, but he fell. He got a clinching opportunity. Hackenberg, slant, caught, breaking free is Saeed Blacknall. Can they catch him? Lost the football, it's poked out from behind. Loose inside the five. Monte Nicholson with an incredible hustle play. Blacknall got it back, and it's first and goal inside the three for Penn State. Well, it's attention to detail. I've said it eight times already today. Riley Bola earlier when he forced that fumble. It's not just one thing to chase him down. An average coach football team, that guy is just going to chase him down and shoot. Hackenberg will roll out. And throw it away. Into the end zone, incomplete. Did a flag drop out. There it is. Dino Lewis, the intended receiver. 
saying he fell down as if it was not because of contact from Bulla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll see the tape, and they'll give you a little contact down there in the red zone. Hackenberg dumps it off. Saquon Barkley bottled up. It'll be third and goal. You can feel it in here. To Hackenberg. Back pylon for Godwin. Incomplete. Colhoun clock at seven. Slant to the end zone, low throw, it's on target! And it's a touchdown to Chris Godwin! It's a big time throw on fourth down. We've seen this from Hackenberg today. Talk about a rhythm when he can single hitch. Right? Watch single hitch, ball out, put in the position where his guy gets it, nobody gets it. Sailed that earlier on a third down. That time, couldn't put it in any better spot, and Godwin finishes. Got it for the two point conversion. Blacknall was wide open, and Hackenberg couldn't put it on him. So it's still a three-score lead for Michigan State with Michigan State defense. Leading tacklers, one, two, and three. Not safeties, not corners, linebackers, because that D-line keeps them clean. Hackenberg will run, get what he can. And Hackenberg avoids Shalit Calhoun. Bullets one to the sideline, incomplete. Threw it behind. Michigan State pretty dominant tonight. Here comes the blitz. Hackenberg has the ball batted up in the air. Malik McDowell on the carom. And it's a defensive score. Five of its Iowa Michigan State because it'll all be settled, settled next weekend. But this group is playing at a different level as all their pieces are now 